Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote3root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM. Uh, first, you'll need to have a rooted Verizon Galaxy Note 3, of course. Um, so go ahead and root it first. Um, and this will work if you're on the build number MI9 or MJ7. Um, not sure about future versions, that's why I say it, but it may work on the future versions. I've got MI9 here, as you can see. Um, so you've got your phone rooted. Um, next, you'll need to download a custom ROM. I do recommend uh, some of the two best custom ROMs. I recommend a Jelly Beans ROM and also HyperDrive ROM, both um, TouchWiz based ROMs. And uh, I've downloaded Jelly Beans ROM for now. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Uh, and also, you'll need to also download the latest version of SafeStrap. I'll have a link on my site, go there and then download the latest version. Um, and copy it. Now you can download it straight to your phone, uh, or you can copy it into your phone. And go ahead and use. Um, you can go ahead and use uh, My Files app. And that's for me under Tools. Um, go to All, and you should have the two files here: uh, the Safe Strap, the latest Safe Strap, and also the custom ROM you're trying to install. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and install Jelly Beans. Um, so go ahead and try to install SafeStrap. If you get that warning, just hit uh, unknown sources, hit OK. And go ahead and click on install. And go ahead and open. And make sure you hit grant. And hit agree. And hit install recovery. And if you get an error, maybe you don't have a BusyBox install for some reason, um, you can go ahead and download any kind of BusyBox installer app from the Play Store. Run that once installed and you can uh, rerun this. Uh, but once you have SafeStrap Recovery installed, um, you can go ahead and use this app to reboot into recovery. Or also when your phone reboots, there should be a menu uh, asking you if you want to boot into SafeStrap by hitting the menu button. So there's two ways to get into SafeStrap. Um, but the simplest way is just to run the SafeStrap app and just run it. And basically, with SafeStrap, you'll be able to install custom ROMs. Um, Hashco, the developer of SafeStrap app, uh, has implemented Twerp recovery. So it's pretty much exactly the same as Twerp. Um, some things are different with SafeStrap um, because you may have to uh, work with slots instead of the regular Twerp recovery. For some reason, I'm rebooting here. I may have to uh, boot into it manually. And there we go. So go ahead and hit a recovery when you see that menu. Um, for some reason, it didn't boot into it, um, but I could get into it manually. And that screen will show up every time you reboot your phone once you have SafeStrap uh, recovery installed. And there we go. Uh, boot options. Now, the greatest thing with uh, SafeStrap is that you can leave your stock ROM alone uh, and go ahead and use all of these ROM slots. So you can have four custom ROMs along with your stock ROM or even, if you want you can even put a custom ROM there and back up your stock ROM. So whatever is chosen here uh, if you go back home install wipe all of these options will apply to whatever you choose here. So I have stock ROM here. Uh, first thing I ask you to do is make a backup ROM. So go ahead and back up uh, data system and make a backup before you do anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a backup and this will back up um, all of your stock you know, settings, apps, app settings is not going to back up uh, files in your internal storage uh, or SD card. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and back it up, even though I'm going to probably leave the stock ROM slot alone. Uh, but I'm going to back it up just in case um, even that gets, you know, messed up. Or sometimes I, I remember with the Galaxy S4, somebody accidentally installed it on the uh, backup slot and having problems. So make a backup ROM, and you don't have to leave it on your phone. You can just copy it to your hard disk on your phone. Uh, computer and just you know when you absolutely need it you can copy it back into the Torp directory or um, I think that's the directory that SafeStrap uses oh it will show you here see backup folder data media uh, zero so it's gonna be under your Torp folder under backup uh, folder and it's probably gonna timestamp it since I didn't set a uh, name but I will be back when this is done um, should take another five to ten minutes and there we go I'll be back Hi folks, so I'm back here. Uh, if your phone screen comes off or turns off, just hit the power button and then you'll be able to see it. So it's backed up here and we're ready to go. Make sure to make one backup at least. And for this installation, um, I 
don't think, oh, you know what? You can actually wipe it. I don't actually recommend using the top uh, stock ROM. It makes it easier. I suggest using uh, ROM slot one uh, or two. And this will set system partition size 2.6 gigs, data partition 2.5. Um, you can make these bigger. Uh, data is your where your app data goes, um, stuff like that. So you can make that bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Um, I like to actually use a micro SD card if I need to um, download more apps. And also this will take up space in your internal storage. Um, so whatever you set here, uh, total 5.4 gigabytes is gonna take up that spot. Now if you don't want that, you can go ahead and use the uh, the stock ROM slot. Uh, again, that will make you erase your stock ROM. I like this method because I can always go back to the stock ROM very, very easily. Um, this is the recommended method. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a ROM slot this way. This will make all the system and data partition uh, for the new ROM you can install. This way you can also install four different custom ROMs and switch between them if you have problems or if you have um, if you prefer AOSP ROM certain days and TouchWiz ROMs, then you can have two different ROMs and kind of switch back and forth. Um, you know, many ways to cut the cake. But I will be back when this is done. It should take about five minutes. Hi right, folks, so once it is done creating a ROM slot, you'll see it highlighted. That means it is now using ROM slot one. Now, since um, this is, has been created, it's a new ROM slot, um, there's nothing on it. So you're gonna have to install a ROM. Um, so go ahead and do a uh, wipe, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and do a wipe data factory reset. Um, just how you install a regular ROM in twerp. Uh, this is pro, um, twerp recovery tweaked uh, for, for safe strap. Uh, next, go ahead and install. Um, go ahead and find the file you want to install. I've actually have it under my, my uh, internal storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my internal storage. Um, go to my download folder. I'm gonna find Jelly Beans ROM here. And I'm gonna confirm and flash. Um, just like how you do it with Twerp. And once this is done, um, you should be able to reboot and it will boot into ROM slot one because that's one selected. Now, if you ever wanna go back to stock ROM, um, you can go ahead and reboot into stock, uh, safe strap recovery. Go ahead and choose a ROM slot for stock ROM and then reboot. Um, so you, it's sort of like almost being, being able to switch ROMs on the go. Um, so I really like uh, how SafeStrap works. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will be back when this is done installing. It should take another five or 10 minutes. Hi right, folks, that actually didn't take that long. It took another minute or two. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot system now. And that should be all good to go. And uh, I should be on a new brand new ROM, Jelly Beans ROM. And I'll show you that uh, every time you reboot now, you'll have the option to go into Safe Strap Recovery, uh, or you can boot straight into your ROM. So there we go. Recovery, or you can go ahead and hit continue there. And um, continue will basically boot whichever ROM slot you chose, whether that's stock ROM or ROM slot one, ROM slot two. And boom shakalaka, I've got Jelly Beans ROM running. And that's pretty much it. And uh, this is great news. And don't forget to donate to uh, Hashcode, the developer, Hashcode, a uh, developer of SafeStrap. He's worked on um, the Galaxy S4, now the Note 3. Uh, he's probably gonna be working on the AT&T Note 3 also, for those of you asking. So SafeStrap should be coming to uh, AT&T Note 3. Um, you know, thanks to Hashcode, now we're able to install custom ROMs. Uh, which is awesome. So don't forget to donate to him. Uh, I'll have donate links at the bottom of my site and under credits as always. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be back when this boots. Um, should take another five, well, two or three minutes. Hi folks, so it is done now um, booting and I will get 4G LTE. Uh, I've got the welcome screen here and um, there you go. Um, I've got it booted and I should have uh, quick overview, I don't want to sync contacts. I should have a quick overview of the latest Jelly Beans ROM, uh, which I'm really excited. I've been using Jelly Beans ROM on uh, the Note 2, the S4, S3. Um, he makes some excellent ROMs based on the stock Verizon firmware. Uh, in fact, he probably makes the best ROM. Well, him and uh, Scott Breen on the Hyperdrive, both of them make the two best ROMs, I would say. Um, and I would say that would be probably gonna be the case for the Verizon Note 3 also, uh, unless we have new newcomers. 
Um, and of course, there's always new developers, which is nice. Um, so I've got Jelly Beans custom ROM installed. Look at check it out, Android 4.3. And I've got uh, Jelly Beans custom settings, all of the stuff that I would want in a custom ROM. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Um, now you should be able to install custom ROM on your Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Um, and if this video has helped you install a custom ROM using SafeStrap on your Verizon Note 3, don't forget to hit the uh, like button here, subscribe button there. And also, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also, check out Video of the Week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay here on Android.